Morning. Morning. What are you doing out here? Hmm? Just thinking about what Lydia said. This would make the perfect beer garden. I can already feel my creative juices flowing. You think you'll do it? Well, Charity's up for it, so we're going to call a couple of builders, get a few quotes. It'll be the perfect place for a well-earned breather. Bear's been, um, enthusiastic. Good enthusiastic. Or get out from underneath my feet or I will throttle you enthusiastic. Somewhere in the middle. <laughs> Change the barrel for me. Really? Well, that, that it, it didn't need changing. Nope. Hey, you don't fancy taking him to work with you, do you? No. No, I can't. I'm on call. Oh, no. No, it was a long shot. Don't worry, I've got a backup plan. Right. I've wiped down tables, popped out beer mats, and I've topped up the spirits. Where do you need me next, lass? Topped up the spirits how? With a bit of cheeky old H2O. You've watered down my entire spirit shelf. Aye. And doubled your profits. All right, I've got your taps. Aaron, hey, perfect timing. Uh, today is your lucky day. Is it? Yes, I've found you an extra pair of hands. Bear, you're going to the scrapyard. <laughs> no way, no, he's not. Oh, don't worry, lad. I know my way around scrap. I've nicked enough of it over the years. Well, our gear isn't pinched, is it? No, of course it isn't. Right, well, there's no point hanging around here, is there? <laughs> Off you pop, there's scrap to be scrapped. I think they'll have fun. I hope you like it. Mm -hmm. And in my humble opinion, I think I might have even top last year. I'm sure I'm going to love it. Thank you so much. Happy birthday. Are these? Unicorns. <laughs> awesome, right? Uh. Let me uh, slip you into this. Oh, I think you're going to look the part. Smart, don't you like it? Yeah, I, sorry, it's just it's a bit more practical than I'd imagined. Well, I can say come back, I've got the receipt. No, it's fine, it's fine. Sorry, I don't know why I'm getting upset. Well, that's not the reaction I was hoping for. Come on, don't talk to me. Tell me what's the matter. Well, it's just... You know, last year you bought me silk underwear. This year you bought me a fluffy dressing gown and unicorn slippers. Broke. I'm just really paranoid someone's going to step on a bit of glass. So you're not dodging your flock then? Oh, an outrageous suggestion. Anyway, have you spoken to Jay yet? No. Just trying to figure out what to say. Whoa! It's just a postie. Yeah, of course. I mean, it is late, so we could do with a fright. You OK? Yeah, of course. Harriet. I came down last night and found the door wide open and that picture smashed on the floor. I'm just wondering if he was in the house. He? Or whoever, I don't know. This is all really getting to you, isn't it? No. I'm just a bit jumpy, that's all. I mean, that door's always been tricksy. If you don't shut it really hard, it can blow open. I'm sure that's what it was. Anyway, enough about me being daft. You've got a job to get back. So, let's go over the shopping list. I gave you one job. Just winding you up. <laughs> OK, first rule of party prep, don't wind up the organiser on the day of the event. It never ends well. Priya, relax. It's supposed to be a celebration. I want everything to be perfect for you both. The cake is gorgeous. A regal peacock sits at the top of the tears. Sounds classy. And pricey. It is, but I struck a deal with the baker to point home farm clients in his direction. Hey, how's it going? Perfect timing. A little something for the blushing bride. <laughs> it should be late more often. <laughs> oh, Rishi. <laughs> it's beautiful. Dad, this is exquisite. It couldn't have been cheap. Worth every penny. Ah, oh. oh, that's it. I suppose, yeah. Paperwork. It's a mug's game, lad. The only file system I've ever needed is right here. 
Yeah, I could tell you a thing or two about business. No, I'm all right, thanks. You just get on with grading that scrap. Now, the first rule of business is, when in doubt, delegate. Now, my mate, Weavy, used to sort out my accounts and he could get pretty creative, <laughs> if you know what I mean. You all right? Yeah, why are you not in college? The lads have a lunch. So what, you come all the way back here? Yeah, where's Rob? I don't know, why? He owes me a tenner. I can't get lunch without it. Hey, Misery Chops. Look after this one. She's special. Yeah, I will. See ya. <laughs> what? It's a smart kid, that Liv. She just diddled you. Is it? Oldest trick in book. I bet she tells Robert you owe her money and all. <laughs> anyway, I suppose I'd better take my considerable life experience outside and grade that scrap. <coughs> I'm fine. Hey, birthday girl, many happy returns. Oh, happy birthday. You doing something special? No, not really. I'm not ready to hit the tiles again just yet, so a quiet one. Mm, not got into Pete. He's stepped up his game since this morning. What? David, um, I've got 20 caffeine addicts waiting for me. He's going all out for you after this morning's fiasco. He's going to pull out all the stops. Oh, what has he said? Ah, uh, just that he massively bodged it. You know, missed the romance this year. But it's still in with a chance, right? In with a chance? Yeah, you know, to get the spark back. Oh, right, he thinks there's no spark. No, 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 but there will be after tonight. He's going to make sure of that. Please tell me that wasn't as bad as it seemed. David. Tomorrow, I start charging rent. Right. What? You've set up shop. Yeah, only for today. The factory is overrun with party prep. <laughs> I can't get any work done. Well, while you're here, you can buy yourself lunch. This should be interesting. I'm sorry for what I did. I messed up. And I know you probably don't want to know, but I really need my job back. Thing is, Don, apology or no apology, you've caused me a whole heap of trouble. Why would I want someone like you working for me? I'm not perfect. I've made some massive mistakes. <laughs> you know, you're not really selling yourself here. But the worst mistake I ever made was letting my little boy, Lucas, down. I wasn't in any fit state to be his mum, and he was better off without me. I'm sorry. But I'm clean now. And it hasn't been easy, but with a job and some money coming in, well, maybe one day I, I could get him back. And so I'm so sorry that I screwed up. But if you give me another chance, I'll work dead hard and I won't let you down, I swear. I hope you get him back. Thank you. And I will give you another chance. But believe me, one foot out of line and you're gone. Deal. What's wrong with you? You haven't said two words to me. What? Nothing's wrong. I'm just not very hungry, that's all. All right, so why do we bother coming all the way here? Viv, you seen your brother? Was it your bright idea to put Aaron with Paddy's dad? Please tell me it's going brilliantly. Well, I got the vibe it could be going better. What are you doing here? I saw you leaving school for lunch. Why aren't you answering my texts? Oh, brilliant. Let's chat here in the street where everyone can gawp at us. They'll only think I'm looking for Auntie Layla. Uh, no, not now. Now is the worst time. Why? Because Jessie is coming round to chat to me about why I've been skiving my duties. Because of me? Yes. Jacob. Go. I feel really shady lying to her. She's my mate. She's your girlfriend. You need to make her believe that. Everyone believe that. Otherwise, we've not got a chance. Maya. Jacob. If you're going to be getting that bus back to school, I'd get a move on if I were you. I have no idea when Layla will be back home, but, um... Well, I'll let her know that you dropped by. Thanks, miss. 
Right, let's get started, shall we? Why did you tell David we'd lost our spark? I didn't. Right. So you didn't go on about bodging the romance or trying to fix it so you were still in with a chance? What's that even mean? In with a chance? Well, I didn't say that. Well, something like it. No. So... Here you go. Happy birthday, round two. What's this? It's a real present. So go on, open it. Too much? Too little? Too... What? What'd you call this? It's an apology for getting it so wrong earlier. And another crack at getting it right. You think this is going to get you some action? What? No. Well, why did you tell David it would? I didn't. Mm. You have a good laugh, did you? Mm, at me not putting out over a pair yeah, of slippers? that's just what I'm like, innit, eh? Listen, David's got the wrong idea. Yeah, what's that? Do you know what? I can't do anything right, can I? All I wanted to do was put a smile on your face and you stood here accusing me of all sorts. What do you expect? I feel humiliated. How can you hear yourself? I just wanted to buy you a present that you liked. That's it. Whatever you think my intentions are, it's all in your head. I'd never push you to do anything you weren't ready to do. You know that, don't you? Are you serious? Look, where is your head at right now? Look, please tell me you don't think I'm that guy. Rona. You really think this is about getting my leg over? No. Then why say it? Don't you know me by now? Do you know what? I just want some honesty. You don't trust me, do you? I do. Of course I do. I just... I don't know. I just feel so confused. Then get some rest. You're pushing yourself too hard and you've gone back to work way too soon. I'm ready. Yeah, well, clearly not. You're so strung out, you've, you've basically accused me of being a creep. I'm so sorry. Look, we can't keep doing this. Look, you're going back to work too soon. It's dangerous and... It's making you flat out paranoid. I need to work. Why? Because if I sit at home all day, I will do my own head in. I need a distraction. Pete, please, don't ask me to give it up. Yeah, well, I have, and you won't. Good. Don't... Don't be angry with me. I'm not angry. I'm just worried. Don't be. I'm on light duties anyway. And in a few weeks' time, I'll be back to normal. It's not how I imagine your birthday would turn out. No, me neither. I've made plans for dinner. I mean, we can cancel them if you want. No. Dinner would be lovely. Thanks for agreeing to meet me here. If we'd done this in your office and it was all formal, it would have made it a lot harder than it already is. Yeah, well, this is highly irregular. But you seem so anxious on the phone, so... Uh... Look, I need to understand what's happening with you. You're turning up to class, but you're giving your bare minimum. You've stopped coaching the netball team, and you're, you're ducking out of lunchtime duties, claiming to be sick when you seem to be fine. I'm worried about you. You've never phoned it in like this. I'm getting control of it. Of what? My divorce from Liam. It's just triggered a lot of negative feelings about myself. Maybe I'm not coping as well as I'm making out. Maya, uh, that's understandable. So until recently, I've just felt that I've not been good at anything, including my job. You know what, you should have just come to me. I was ashamed. But I'm getting help. I'm seeing a counsellor and it's made a difference already. I wish I'd known about this before, you know? Do you need some time off? I don't. The worst of it's over. Well, just make sure that you make some space for yourself, yeah? I know you've been tutoring Jacob in your spare time. You can knock that on the head for a start. Yeah, I'll think about that. And you'll let me know if the school can help you in any way, shape or form? Of course I will. Is there anything else I can do to help? Just trust me. I won't let you down again. 
Thank goodness. You need to come with me. My horse is ill. Oh, no, sorry. I'm, I'm not on duty. Well, who is on duty? My horse needs help right away. Well, Vanessa's on a call-out and Paddy is unavailable. Well, that's no good to me. Look, you're here. My horse needs help. She's been wheezing ever since she arrived this morning and it's getting worse. I don't care what it costs, please. OK, right, we better get going then. Um, I just need to drop this one off at his dad's, OK? You can run, but you can't hide. No, I'm not hiding, I'm working. You have a desk. No, I used to have a desk. Now I've got a party planning station. Good news, the work is done for the day. Time to get ready. No, Dad, the factory needs supervising. Not today. I've closed it early. You can't just close it. I don't care. Today is for celebrating my marriage with friends and family. And I want my firstborn there. Why? To show you accept my wife and our vows, despite everything. Please, Jay. I need you there. Well, I've managed to make the place look tidy again. It's in better shape than you left it. <laughs> what next? I've got another delivery to make. Of? Washing machines. Help me load them up. Oh, those machines are worthless. Not to my buyer, they're not. 200 quid for three of them is paying. Oh, oh rip off! Where's the rest of them? I'll put them all here. I didn't think you'd try and pull a con. I'm not. The guy fixed them up and sells them on for double what he paid. Where are they? Yeah, where they ought to be. Scrapped. You pulled them apart? Uh, with me bare hands. And saved you from making a, a, a big mistake. Come on, hurry up. I'm not sure if I can. Well, what on earth's the matter with you? I just... What? Are you all right? Um, no, just give me a sec. I don't know why I'm nervous. Do I look all right? Dad, you've asked me that about 50 times. You look adorable as ever. Now, stop fretting. That's my job. Did I give the DJ the memory stick? Yep. Yeah. Should we pack a spare bottle opener, just in case? I already have. Plus, I bought spare napkins in contrasting colours, so they'll go nicely with the decor. Right, uh, did you pack the cake knife? I oh, know, I forgot that one. Aisha, I can't trust you with anything. I half worried you'd bail on me last minute. I want you to be happy, Dad. I am. Really? I trust her. Manfred, Manny, darling, we're on our way out. OK, darling, I won't be long. She wants to make a big entrance once we're all there. Car, now. Yeah, you know, um, you go on. I'll drive myself over. Fine, but don't be late. You look nice. Jay, you startled me. I thought you'd all gone. I, uh, I'm going to take my car. Oh, OK. Well, that's all you did there for my big entrance. I tell you, it's been a nightmare trying to avoid your father seeing me all dressed up. What does it matter? I mean, it's not actually your wedding day. No. I suppose not. <laughs> not technically, but I still wanted to be special. Right. Finishing touches. Me a fright. I didn't think there was anyone here. But have, you, have you seen this? Oh, no. Who would do such a thing? How did Harriet seem to you? Do you reckon she's still freaking out about the attack? Well, yeah. She would attack. Hey, Gobby. You're here to celebrate me getting my job back, not wind me up. Can't I do both? I mean, I've gone through a lot of effort here. 
We're getting some tinnies from a corner shop to drink in a cricket pavilion. Well, I was going to feel like a retro throwback to a Miss Bent you. Sure you're not just avoiding Mummy in the pub? Scared we can't do this in front of her. Oi, creepy watchers, stop watching. <laughs> Ronna's birthday's not over till it's over. She on her way. Well, I've texted her, but do me a favour, just hide anything sharp, because there's no telling how she might react. <laughs> Sounds though like you're telling me what I want to hear. Yeah, I am, but that doesn't make it any less true. And if you're wrong? Well, I'm going to send those bloods off to the lab, so we should hear in the next few days if there's anything to be concerned about. If? That's all you're going to get for now. Until then, Freya strictly needs to rest. Just try not to worry. If your boy was sick and I told you not to worry? Kim. What? She will be all right. So you keep saying. Look, I've got some work to catch up on, but thanks for your help today. continues in half an hour.